Recently, in my videos, I've been featuring heavy meta teams that feature Pokemon like Legends of Ruins, Fluttermane, or any other Paradox Pokemon. But today, we are changing up a little bit. We are rocking out with an off-meta Luxray team that also features Gudra and Tinkaton. This one looks like a crazy team, but it also looks strong at the same time. So, let's rock out with it. Let's look to grab some wins with it. But, you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, click that big red subscribe button. Also, want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Dragonair Jordan. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. We'll be linking his channel down in the description below. So, definitely go check it out if you want the Pokey Pace and show some gene support over there. But, Gudra is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And, Gudra, I think a lot of people love Gudra, especially myself. Nice little purple dragon. Really can't go wrong with it. It's got Sap, Sipper, and the leftover. Has the water terror type, muddy water, body press, acid armor, and protect. We also have Pelipper in the second slot that could pair up pretty well with that, considering it's set the rain and then Gudra can do more damage with its muddy water. But again, Pelipper, second slot, Drizzle, Focus Ash, Hurricane, Tailwind, Y Guard, and Hydro Pump. Pretty standard moveset for my boy Paloops. Cannot go wrong with it. We got Wo Chen in our third slot, and Wo Chen is going to be solid for going up against physical attackers and plus stalling out Pokemon in the late game. It's got Tablets of Ruin, the Citrus Berry as item, Rock and Pollen Puff, Ruin Nation, Leech Seed, and Protect. Luxray is in our fourth slot, and I love me some Luxray. A Gen 4 favorite for everybody. I feel like you can't hate this Pokemon. It's got Intimidate, which makes it awesome. Then it's got Assault Vest, Wild Charge, Play Rough, Snarl, and Volt Switch for a wonderful moveset. We got Tinkaton in our fifth slot, a favorite of mine for Gen 9, with Own Tempo and the Eject Pack. We got Fake Out, Gigaton Hammer, Ice Hammer, and Faint. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be a good special attacker and at the same time a good support Pokemon. We got Volcarona over here with Flame Body and the Aguaf Berry. It has Rage Powder, Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, and Giga Drain for a great moveset for any Volcarona. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this off meta Luxray and Gudra team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a team with no Legends of Ruin Pokemon, but two very strong Pokemon. They got Azumarill and Dragonite. And the reason I say they're very strong is because they got first turn priority moves. They could do a crazy amount of damage, but they're also rocking Gold to go, Intimidate Arcanine, then they got Iron Hands and Amoongus. How should I play this one? Who should I lead here? I'm kind of leaning towards just like a Tinkaton lead and maybe even a Gudra lead because they got a lot of physical attackers, right? So like a defensive boost could be good, especially with Acid Armor. So I'm going to go in with Tinkaton, go in with uh, Gudra, bring Wochen in the back end because Wochen could be pretty solid here. And then last but not least, do I go Pelipper? Or do I go in with like Luxray for Intimidate? Because Intimidate could be really good, but Pelipper can also be very good as it's a nice special attacker. I think I'm down to go with Pelipper. Especially if we are rocking with Wochen, I'd rather have a special attacker on its side rather than a physical attacker. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But very cool team. No Legends of Ruins. I see some teams using it, but I feel like having the Legends of Ruin Pokemon just make your teams 10 times better, in my opinion, from, from my experience, right? But we'll see. We'll see who they want to end up leading. Hmm. I think maybe Intimidate Arcan I could come out here, but still, I, I'm kind of just here. I'm just leading this Pokemon right here, the Tinkaton, and this thing, just so I can get off a Fake Out and kind of get after it. But, uh, who's just going to come out here? I do have Sap Sipper, so you can't hit me with a Grass Beam, so that's going to be really good for us to just set up a free Acid Armor and just Fake Out this Pokemon, right? I'm with it. I don't care if you put my Tinkaton to sleep. So I'm just going to Fake Out the Iron Hands. I don't, don't really see... Amoongus doing anything crazy besides putting a Pokemon to sleep, but you're not going to put my Gujra to sleep. I kind of hope you want to try to, because then we can Sap Sipper up. But Fake Out's going to come out here, do a little clap he's on him, and we're going to set up a nice lovely Acid Armor, which is big time for us. So we go for the Acid Armor, he's going to flinch, and what's Amoongus going for? You're going for the Spore. Did you just do it? You just gave me the Sap Sipper boost. I love it. I love it. I love the Sap Sipper boost. I love it. So let's see your stats real quick. We're plus 2 on defense, we're plus 1 on attack. Oh, it's physical attack. God dang it, man. I wish it was special attacking. I thought it was. But from here, I could tear it in the water, but I don't think I'd do it just yet. I kind of like my typing, right? I kind of like my typing. So I'm just going to stick with the muddy water here. And I'm going to go for an ice hammer. Who actually goes first? Because if Tinkaton goes first, we can eject pack out. Could be really good for us. 148, and yeah, you do. So do I try? I don't think I terrasize just yet. But yeah, I'm going to ice hammer into the Mooga slot. Just so we can swap out. So Ice Hammer's gonna come in here. It's gonna do some nice damage to the Moogus. And on top of that, we get the speed drop. So our Jack Pack is going to poke here. And of course, your Rocky Helmet. Of course. 
Of course you are, Rocky Helmet. And from here, we're gonna bring out the lovely little Pelper. So Pelper is gonna come out here, set the rain, help the help the water move do a bit more damage. And maybe we should've just Terrasalized that turn, but I like Gujar's typing, especially up against these Pokemon right now. So out comes my Pelipper, we're set in the rain, we got some weather going. We got the weather going. Muddy Water is going to fly, who dodged it? Who just dodged that? I think it was Iron Hands. Yeah, Iron Hands, of course Iron Hands dodges it. We get the accuracy drop on Amoogus, which is big time. He ends up going for a Drain Punch, which we're able to soak pretty well. So from here, what is the play now? Do we set up another Acid Armor? Potentially, right? He goes for a Oh no, you clear smocked me? That ain't right, that ain't cool at all. That is not cool at all. That is not cool at all. That is not cool. That is not cool. I might Terrasalize here. I am gonna Terrasalize, and I'm just gonna Hurricane down this slot. As much as I wanna go after you, I am just gonna go after Amoogus here. He ends up withdrawing Amoogus, that's odd. That's very odd. Now, who are you gonna go into? Who's your swap up one? It is gonna be Azumarill. So, Azumarill comes out here, and don't tell me you Terrasalize. You gotta Terra- Oh, that's me Terrasalizing. I thought it was them. <laughs> that's me Terrasalizing my Gudra. I'm hoping the Iron Hands doesn't change the grass. Because I was going to Hurricane into that slot, just in case it does change the grass, which it could. But I don't, I don't think it will. It does not. So Muddy Water's going to fly here. How much damage is it doing to Iron Hands here? I wish the last Muddy Water would have hit. It's doing a decent amount of damage. And a Hurricane's going to fly into this slot. So we Hurricane that thing up, we get off some nice damage. And he's going to end up Wild Charging my Pelper down. Which I don't mind too much. I kind of just had Pelper out there for the rain. The Pelper drops out. We still have Tinkerton, but I feel like we saved Tinkerton. I feel like at this point, it's, it's a Wo Chen show, right? I feel like we get Wo Chen out here. I feel like we definitely get Wo Chen out here. I might just protect Wo Chen. I'm thinking of just protecting Wo Chen. Mm, what do I want to do here? Because Drain Punch could be super effective onto me. I really want that Hurricane. But yeah, we're going to go for a Muddy Water here. And... Ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm gonna say he actually wild charges into me. I'm gonna say he wild charges my Guja slot more than a drain punch, and I'm gonna set up this leech seed. And I'm going to set up this leech seed. That's gonna be my play. I'm a firm believer in he's gonna go for a wild charge into my Guja slot. I'm a firm believer in that. Rather than a drain punch into the Wo Chen. We do connect the leech seed, which is big time for us. But get that set up, and we'll see what he wants to do from here. Goes for the play rough into Wu Chen. Oh no, wait, are you did you double down into Gudra? That's not a Wu Chen. You do, that's a big time turn from us. The double down into Gudra. We like that. So now I get back some HP. Or I, I steal some HP here too. And we do outspeed him, which is good. So I think we just go into a muddy water and we double down. Maybe with a palm puff, or do I protect you? Hmm. Because that's not going to KO you. I could hard swap you into maybe like Tinkaton. But can you eat up a wild charge? That's the real question. Um, hmm. Can you eat up a wild charge? It is the real question. Maybe. Maybe. It's tough. It's really tough here. I'm just going to palm puff. Into the Zoom slot. Let's see how this one plays out here. Muddy Water's gonna fly. And it almost KOs. Not enough. The Leech Seed will KO. We'll finish this thing off with Leech Seed. But I'm guessing Wild Charge comes out here, right? Pop Puff's flying. It's not gonna KO. Leech Seed will. And he ends up going for the Wild Charge. Can you soak with Wood Channel on the field? You do not. That kind of hurts. I had a feeling it was a crit. I had an odd feeling that was a crit. I had a real odd feeling that was a crit. So they still have Amoongus, which is kind of tough on our end. Because I don't really know how I'm going to be able to take out Amoongus. It seems like a little bit of a problem. But we get rid of Azumarill and Iron Hands. And come on, man. You really crit me there. You really crit me. Okay, so I'm going to go into you. A Leech Seed is going to be ideal for Wu-Chan here, right? It really depends on what Pokemon they go into. Because Tinkaton's going to fly out here. Um, You can't put my Wu-Chan to sleep, which is good. Amoongus is going to come back out here with full HP. Not full HP, I thought it would. And Arcanine's gonna fly here. Okay, so Arcanine definitely gotta fake out him. I think we fake him out and probably set up a Leech Seed onto that. We're gonna need my Wu Chen here. 
We are definitely going to need my Wu-Chen. So I'm going to fake you out. I am just going to go for the Lichid and try to set this up on the Arcanine. That's my play all day. I don't think you protect the Arcanine. I really don't see the protect coming out of here. I think he wants to try to waste out rain turns too. But fake out is going to pop here. Can we land this Lichid? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. We do. That's a big time Leech Seed lane. So we land Leech Seed. We start setting up with my boy Wo Chen. He probably puts my Amoongus to sleep. And you end up going for Palm Pump into me, which is fine. I mean, well, actually, no, that's not fine. Why? That did a ridiculous amount of damage. I know it's four times super effective. But come on now, it's Amoongus. It's Amoongus. It is Amoongus. So I get back some HP. I still have my Citrus Berry, which is good news. Um, A Flare Blitz is scaring me, though. The Flare Blitz is terrifying me. But I'm going to go into Palm Puff here. I'm doubling down into Amoongus. He needs to go. This Arcanine is a problem too. They're just all a problem here. Ice Hammer's going to come in here. I don't see us win this match. And Ice Hammer's barely doing any damage, which kind of sucks. I think it's mainly there for like the Dragonites and all that. The Dragon Pokemon. But a Morning Sun's going to come out, out here. The Morning Sun up. And he's going to get some HP back. So now we just Palm Puff into you. We chip up a little bit of damage. We're not really doing that much. And he's going to end up sporing me. Kind of sucks, right? <laughs> it kind of sucks. <laughs> and I don't, I don't see us really winning this match, right? I just don't. I don't see us winning this match. Ichi's going to give me some HP back. I could end up protecting here. Which might have to be my call. Hmm. No, we're going to keep attacking the Moongus. I need to get rid of this thing. I need to get rid of this thing. And I, and I need to keep Arcanine on the field. But he ends up Flare Blitzing into me. I'm able to eat. And yeah, we, we die. We get a burn. Yeah, this is over. This is over. Wow, what a first match. I feel like if they didn't get that crit on my Guja, we could have had one more turn. And that could have really, like, wavered the uh, this match. But hey, our opponent played really good here. Match number one is definitely going to go to them. Um, I think Amoogus is just going to take me out with Palm Puff. I think it was a double down action. But we're going to end up Palm Puffing into Amoogus. Barely doing any damage with the burn now. And there goes Palm Puff. Wo Chen drops out to that. And yeah, take a ton of sleep. Not going to do much. So I'm just going to run this battle. We start off 0-1. Let's hop to our second match. Try to get Luxray out there. And more importantly, try to grab ourselves a win. Second match on its way. Let's grab ourselves a win here. Going up against a Ting Lu team with Dragapult, Azumarill, Iron Hands, who's a little bit of a problem. Then they also have Iron Moth, we showcased in the last video. Ting Lu and Salamence. Okay, Intimidate's going to be great for us here. All physical attackers, right? All but one. Iron Moth's not a physical attacker, so I might end up leading the Luxray. But the problem here is a uh, Fake Out user could come out here, such as the Iron Hands. So I kind of want to go into Gudra and try to pop another Acid on him. Because again, the defense boosts are going to be really really good for us so you know what? i'm gonna go same lead i'm not gonna bring pelper actually do i want to bring pelper like pelper could be good but i think i'm gonna go wo chen and luxury we got the fairy move on uh luxury to play rough we also have a few electric moves which is solid snarl to drop special attack if need be we also have volt switch on it i can get down with them i can definitely get down with them so i'm gonna rock out with that and plus intimidate awesome it is definitely awesome dude i wish we would have won that first one we had guja set up pretty well on the defense boost and yeah, they end up clear smiling, which kind of did me dirty, but we would have died regardless, considering the Iron Hands got a crit on me. It would have went through my defense bulks, all that good stuff. And I think we might have been able to survive if he didn't get a crit, considering we had Wo Chen on the field. But he ends up going Dragapult and you. Okay, so from here, hmm. We think he rips into a Dragon Darts? Potentially, right? Potentially. So, you know what? I'm just going to protect you. And I'm just going to go for an Ice Hammer here. I'm going to just try to, try to deal some damage to this Dragapult here. Try to get ripping into this into this little booger. So from here, we can eject pack and go into Luxray. Could intimidate. Um, hmm. How do I want to play this one? Again, Dragapult's tough, especially going into, like, say, Dragon Darts here. Even if I Terrasalize, you could probably still KO because a lot of them are choice banned as of recently. And he ends up setting up the Light Screen, so we definitely should have went for the Acid Armor here. Definitely should have went for the Acid Armor. So Dragapult dodges the Ice Hammer. Are you kidding me? And play off. So they just get off a free Light Screen, screen turn one. Kind of hurts the soul, right? I would love to set up an Acid Armor there. So from here, you know what? I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to Terrasalize. I am going to set up the Acid Armor, and I'm just going to go for the Ice Hammer yet again. The screens are going to get set up, which is oh, it's terrible for us, man. Come on, he really dodged that. He really, we really missed our ice hammer there. 
That's a little tough for us. So we're gonna Terrasilize our Gudra. Try to get this acid armor going and then maybe potentially just start body pressing because we could do some big time damage. We could definitely get off some big time damage. So will o -Wisp comes out here up against you. Come on, man. Stop burning me. Leave me alone. Now Ice Hammer's really gonna do nothing. But I need it to land just so we can swap Ticket Ton out. There we go. Ice Hammer finally lands. And it does that much damage now that we're burned. So it would have done about half, maybe a little bit more than half, if we weren't bur burned, but it'd be like that. So from here, I think I just bring out Luxray. I think it's my best bet, right? Get out Luxray. Or do I get out Wu Chen? Probably Luxray. So I wanna get rid of uh I wanna get rid of Dragapult before anything. I think that's my best bet is to get rid of Dragapult before anything. So I get off a nice little bit intimidate. I think it's not clear body. It could be Infiltrator. Or what's his other ability? I'm not too sure. But I'm going to boost my defense here. I'm going to be plus two on defense, which is big time for me. He's going to end up going into the playoff, which we're able to soak really well. So we soak that. We get a little bit of leftovers HP. And I'm thinking of just Acid Armoring again, right? I really am leaning towards that. Acid Armor and then going into... Do I play off on my own? I feel like the Pokemon I, I want to get rid of is going to be Dragapult. So I'm going to play off into the Dragapult slot. Dragapult is the Pokemon I want to get rid of. I'm going to start boosting my defense. I'm going to get back left there with HP. It's going to be pretty good for us. So I'm looking to get rid of Dragapult while boosting my Gudra at the same time. Because both these Pokemon are minus one. I could end up seeing somebody swap. All that good stuff. But maybe Azumarill might swap. You never know. You never know. I'm just looking like Dragapult's a problem. It's, it's really fast. It hits hard. I'm just not dealing with it. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I really don't want to deal with it. We're gonna hope Gudra can cut. Kind of, I'm hoping we can kind of like stall out this match. That's that's my plan. But he ends up withdrawing the Azumarill. Don't mind it. And he's gonna go into him. It's gonna be Ting Lu. If I can hit hard with a body press, he's gonna end up hexing me. Okay, I feel you. And Hex is not gonna really do anything crazy. And we're gonna be able to set up another Acid Armor. And more importantly, get leftovers HP. So the player off flies here and ends up KO in the pool. So pull is goner. Bolt is gone, and I might want to Bolt switch here into Wu-Chen. That might be my play, just so I can get off Intimidate again. So we get some leftovers HP. I'm going to start body pressing into the Ting Lu. He might start fishing me. I need I need to start doing something, right? <laughs> I need to start doing something. So we're going to see who he goes into. Potentially, it might be Azumarill. And if it is Azumarill, I'm just going to hard swap my Luxury. And no, it's going to be Iron Hands. So Iron Hands is ready for a fake out. He's ready for a fake out. We go into the body press. I think body press would do a bit more damage. My terror, I am, I am. So what would do more damage? A plus four, defensive boost, or muddy water? I think I feel like this would do a lot of damage. Um, hmm. I really want to bolt switch out. I might just hard swap into Wu Chen. That's gonna be my play. It's a hard swap because if he fakes out Luxray and goes into a uh, stomping cancer, that would just take me out. I'm going to hard swap into this and drop all attack on the field. Maybe I should have went after Iron Hands because Iron Hands is a little bit of a problem. But still, with a plus four defense boost, I, I feel safe. I don't think they're going to get another crit. But Body Press is going to deal some nice damage over onto him. And he's going to have the policy? I don't like that. I simply don't like that. So Stomping Tantrum does end up flying in this slot. We're going to be able to soak pretty well. And he's going to go for the Wild Charge, which we should be able to soak. Yeah, okay, cool. So we soak pretty well there. So he's gonna take some recoil damage. I could end up protecting the Gudra here. I could protect the Gudra. Or I could go into a muddy water. Um, I think I'm just gonna protect you and I'm just gonna start leech seeding. Actually, I could palm puff into that thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna set up leech seed first. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get off this leech seed. It'd be big time for us. So I'm going to go into Leech Seed. I'm going to start trying to set up my Wood Chan. It'd be really good. I know he's weak up against a few of these Pokemon, especially Drain Punch coming out from, from Iron Hands. But I feel like another Wild Charge is going to go after that thing. He wants to deal as much damage as he possibly can onto my Gudra. So out comes the Throw Chop. Are you doubling down into me? Please double down. Go for the double down. Wild Charge into that Gudra. You know it's a problem. No, you end up going for the Drain Punch, which we're able to soak. We do have Citrus Berry as well, which is good. Okay. Hmm. Do I think Palm Puff can KO? Oh, it's not four times. Why did I say it was four times? It's four times super effective on the Wu Chen. Um, we can eat up another Drain Punch, which is good. Can eat up another Drain Punch. 
But I think from here we might just... Hmm, what do I do here? I might double down. I might double down into this Team Lou. Or do I just muddy water? I don't know what does more damage, which is wild. I think I'm going to go for the muddy water just to get some damage off onto him. And then I'm just going to go for the palm puff. Do I heal up Gudra? Potentially, right? I'm going to heal up Gudra. I'm going to heal up Gudra. Because again, I can eat up a drain punch. Let's see how much damage this does. Next turn, we can double down and Tingle if we want to. And accuracy is going to drop, which is good. Palm puff comes over here. We're going to go back up to full HP with Gudra. Pretty close to it, right? Or maybe even on it. We go back up to full HP, and he's going to throw a chunk in there. So we're able to soak that, and he's going to go for a Drain Punch into you. He thought I was protecting, which I'm not. Okay, so cool. So now we get some leftovers HP. Um, From here, I think... I think we double down and ping Lou and just get rid of it. I think now that's my play, right? So that could protect Wu Chen here. Which I might do. I might protect Wu Chen. I'm just gonna muddy water and uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna double down uh Ting Lu. I'm gonna double down Ting Lu. Right here. Right here, right now, supply. So he ends up withdrawing iron hands, which is a good call from us to double down into this Ting Lu. And he's gonna go into Zoom Rail. So we just want to get rid of Leechy, which I don't really mind. I mean Gucci's not sitting in a terrible spot. It's plus four on the defense boost, which is huge. So we end up landing that, dealing some nice damage to the Ting Lu. This Palm Puff should be able to finish that off. And then what I want to do is set up another leech seed. 100%. Set up another leech seed into the Iron Hand slot. We gotta do it. We got to do it. So we get rid of Ting Lu, Gudra, and Wo Chen doing really good. Luxray was awesome too. Actually, we still have Luxray, don't we? We don't have Tinkaton. Am I correct on that statement? Or do we have all four? Hold up. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I don't think we have Tinkaton. Actually, no, we have all four. We have all four still. It's amazing. This is amazing. So from here, I'm gonna go for the body press into a zoom rail. And again, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to set up lead sheet here. Into the iron hands. So we still have all four. Maybe I should swap into Luxray. Oh, you're gonna go grass terror, aren't you? Who's Terrasalizer? Surprised this thing hasn't went grass earlier. Yeah, there it goes grass. That's a big time terror from I think we swap into Luxray. We have to swap into Luxray. Gonna end up faking out Wu Chen, which is uh cool. And body press gonna now fly. Dealing a little bit of damage. I think we just have to start body pressing that thing. Wu Chen flinches, and what are you going for? A belly jump. Oh oh there! Oh there! Hold up! Oh, hold up, that's not allowed. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That is not allowed. That is not allowed. That is This could be bad. This could be bad. This could be real bad. This could be real bad. The light screen's finally gone. It makes sense to why I wasn't doing so much damage. I totally forgot about that light screen. Um, I could swap into Luxray. I could. If anything, I could swap into Luxray. Um, bum, 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 bum. What do I want to do? Do I want to go plus four on defense? I could just rip a muddy water. I don't know what I want to do. Let me just double down into him. I'm going to double down into you. Body press gonna fly. Dealing some nice damage. Can we at least get off the palm puff in that? We do. We're not speeding these guys. That's some decent damage. So let's see what he's gonna end up doing. He's gonna play off. Let's get KO. Me. You're plus six. Things terrifying me. And you're going for a wild charge here that we should be able to soak up. You do. So you're gonna take some nice recoil damage. We're able to soak it. Cool. Wow, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is terrifying right here. That is Zumaril. You are scary. You are one scary customer. I mean, I have Luxray that I could go into. Um, problem is, do you outspeed? <laughs> it's just so rough right now. Um, I'm going to go into you. I'm going to go into Tinkaton. I'm going to use my fake out this turn. And I think I might fake out the Iron Hands. Actually, I got to fake out the Zoom Rail, right? I have to fake out the Zoom Rail. I have to fake out the Zoom Rail. So I'm going to fake out the Zoom Rail. I'm scared of the Aqua Jets, man. Plus six Aqua Jet? 
Oh my lord. It's a good match though. We fake out, we do a little bit of damage onto that. Zumarill's gonna flinch. Empire Press gonna fly, which it KOs. Okay. Alright. Now we're sitting here. We do have Luxray. Um we just gotta keep dealing damage. We have to just keep dealing damage. Just keep going with damage. So Gigaton Hammer and a body press. Probably your best bet. I could go for another acid armor, but I just don't think that's my play. I am burned though. I'm still burned. I forgot about this Tinkaton, yo. This match has been long. This match has been long, but I'm gonna go for the body press. I am gonna go for the Gigaton Hammer. Let's get after this thing. Aqua Jets can come out here. And we died in that. Okay, so we still have two Pokemon left. Still have two Pokemon left. Body press gonna fly here. We do get off an Intimidate, which is good. And that is some nice damage. Was that crit? It was. So we get our crit luck back. That was actually a pretty big crit, but still. I think we're winning this battle regardless. I really do. He has no double hitting moves. We're gonna bring out the Luxray in the back end. And wow, what a second match. Long and drawn out. That was a really good match from both sides of the field. Me playing with the Gudra and the Wu Chen, playing slow, having Luxray come out with Intimidates, hitting Pokemon hard. I like it. I really do like it. But I'm just gonna body press here. I am gonna go into a 100% accuracy move. Not a play rough. I am known for missing my play roughs. So we're just gonna go into this wild charge. And that should be game set match. Aqua Jet comes out here, probably KOs me, right? Yeah, but body press is not missing. It is not missing. Guja definitely clutched it up here in match number two. I feel like everybody played a role. Wu Chen was great. Luxray was good. Dropping play roughs and intimidates. I just feel like that was a solid match. We are one on one. Let's hop into our third and look for a winning record. Final match for today's video is on its way. And we're going up against a Glamora and Gargoyle Nacle team. Alongside with Ting Lu, so they can stall out pretty well, just like us. They also have Fluttermane and Chiyu combo alongside with Gyarados. So this one should be a good third and final battle. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here and end 2-1 and one on the day. But who should I lead and how should I play this one? I mean, Tinkaton's not going to be bad for fake out purposes. But I feel like Ting Lu is going to be our biggest problem. So I think Wo Chen might be a solid lead for us. I could go Wo Chen Gudra. I could go with Chenguja. I don't think that would be terrible, but Fluttermane, oh, that's a problem. Fluttermane is a problem. It's a big problem. It's not a little problem. It's a big problem that I don't really know how to deal with, right? I could go Pelipper and Gudra, which I kind of like for the lead. Set the rain, try to get after it that way. If they end up going into like Fluttermane, I might just want to protect Gudra and kind of get after it that way. But yeah, I kind of like that. We're going to bring Chen in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Luxray? Or do we go in with like Volcarona? Because Volcarona could be pretty good. But I think Luxray is going to be a little bit better with Intimidates and its move pool. I just like it a lot. I do like it a lot. But yeah, Fluttermane, this one could be... This could be wraps for us. This could be a absolute mess for us, right? Fluttermane Chiefs, an absolute mess for us. I don't think we can deal with that. I mean, I could just Terrasilize Gudra. And just go for the the, wa uh, the water moves, the muddy waters, and stuff like that. I don't think that would be a bad to turn one. But I think that's our best bet. It's just to Terrasilize Gudra if Fluttermane comes out here turn one. Yeah, just Terrasilize Gudra and just start sending water Fluttermane's way. <laughs> just getting after it that way. Because uh, Gudra is gonna it's kind of like the heart and soul of this team, right? Gudra, really, really good. You, I think we Terrasilize it in both our first and second matches. So you guys have been seeing plenty of it. But Fluttermane and Gargle Nap will come out here. Yes, this is 100% terror time. It is 1,000% terror time. We're going to Terrasilize, and we're going to double down to potentially Fluttermane, right? He might Terrasilize the Gargle Apple here, which I could definitely see happening. But Booster Energy is going to pop out here. And yeah, it's 100% we're Terrasilizing. I could actually just go into, like, a Wide Guard here and predict something, but I'd rather just, like, Hurricane into Fluttermane and double down into it, no problem, right? I'm with that. I'm with that. I was going to predict the, the, the Dazzling Gleam, but I just think... Getting after his flutter mains, top priority, right? Top priority is just getting after flutter mains. Instead of trying to make like a really good call that could cost us the match or cost us some big damage on the turn, we have to go after flutter main right here, right now, and try to get rid of it. So let's see what they want to do. They end up terrasilizing Flutz into what? Probably fairy, right? I think it's a fairy dazzling gleam kind of play. But no, Gargle is gonna go to Ghost instead. Yep, there's the Ghost. So Ghost typing does pop out here. I'm not too worried about Gargi. Like, it's nothing crazy, but still, I gotta watch out for that Pokemon. Ends up going for a Thunderbolt. We are Sash, which is big time for us. A little bit of Sash action. A little bit of Sash action. I'm gonna hang on with Focus Sash. I do get paralyzed. That's gonna do me dirty, isn't it? I have an odd feeling about that one. Muddy Water connects. We just need Hurricane to land and we can get rid of Fluttermane. Muddy Water doing some good damage. Hurricane does connect. This should KO it, right? Correct? Show it to me. 
Big time plays. That's a hot start for us. I like that. I like that start. So Gargi probably goes for a salt cure, right? Yeah, into my Gujar, which I... Eh. Mm. Go and get a crit on that. It's going to do some damage to me. I don't like that. And watch out. I think salt... Does salt cure do more to water Pokemon? I know it does more to steel. I think it's steel and water. There's another typing. I guess we're going to find out here. So that thing is going to be leftovers. We are paralyzed, which really sucks, yo. It really does suck that we're paralyzed. The Sulker... Oh my god, yeah. It does so much damage to me. Water Terror, a little rough for us. I mean, we didn't even have to Terrasalize. I think he thought we were protecting. But I just wasn't expecting that thing to go for a Thunderbolt. The Ting Lu now comes out here. Um, hmm. Let's see if we just double down on that. So I do have my Wo Chen to back end. Rumination. Palm Puff, I can Leech Seed. Actually, no, I can't. You have Purifying Salt, which won't allow that, I don't believe. This one's just tough. This is just a tough one. I definitely want to go after you. I'm not too worried about speed. I think we just keep Muddy Watering. Let's see how this one plays out here. I'm hoping Pelipper can still outspeed these two slow guys and maybe just land his Hydro Pump. But Tingler's a little bit of a problem. He ends up going for a wide guard. Smart little play. He's letting Salt here do its work. And Pelper, can you outspeed? Can you outspeed Paloops? I, don't, I highly doubt you can because you're paralyzed. But you should be cutting it close. Do it, Pelper. Do it, Pelper. Just get off this Hydro Pump for the boys. For the boys back home. Nope, you do not. So throw Chops and KO me. Oh my god, Salt Gear's going to KO me very, very soon. <laughs> I might have to hard swap my Gujra, but yeah, I knew this one was going to be tough. I knew this one was going to be tough. Leftovers gives us a little bit of HP back, but Salt Gear's taking like 30, 40 HP from us. Which is wild. Plus, Gardenak is going to get some HP back. Kind of hurts the soul. This Pokemon's so good. Especially that song. Um, so, from here, I feel like we just had to go into Wu Chen, right? I think like we go into Wu Chen and we start planting some Leech Seeds, right? Thousand percent. Yes. Yeah, we got we to gotta start planting Leech Seeds. We got to start seeding up this place. I'm just going to Leech Seed you. Um... I'm gonna go for another muddy water. If he if he wide guards, he wide guards. He ends up protecting me. Oh my god, this one's wraps, isn't it? He's just gonna salt cure me down. This is getting real ugly. It's getting real ugly real quick. No good, yo. Our opponent's playing so good right now, though. I'll give it to him. Gargle Knackle dodges that, so we get off no value here. Absolutely no value. This is terrible. This is terrible. They're gonna outstall me here. Salt cure comes out. Terrible, man. Terrible. I need to get some. I just need to start seeding people, right? These seeds gonna be a. It's gonna be your best friend. We get back some HP. Salt gear doing me dirty. Long stall battle, but they got this one pretty much on wraps. I mean, we have Lux, right? It's actually really gonna take out anybody. No, not really. We're gonna go for another lead seed on the right slot. I mean, salt gear can do a little bit of damage to so Chen. But yeah, we're gonna go for the lead seed now. I mean, who do you have in the back end? No way you have Glamora. There's just no shot you have Glamora. I don't believe you have Glamora. And ch -ch -ch -ch, I guess we'll go for Muddy Water, if anything. See how this one plays. You just gonna end up wide guarding again? Maybe we should have swapped. Yeah, we should have swapped that turn. We should have swapped Gujar, trying to have it for another turn. That could have been good for us. Muddy Water's gonna fly. And I'm just defeated. <laughs> I'm just defeated. I mean, there's still definitely a shot here. As long as this uh, Ting Lu doesn't really have Fisher, right? Fisher could be a problem. But I feel like if we can start landing League Seeds and just spread them out on the field, we can get back a ton of HP. But he ends up going for Santum. Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> oh my lord. Just doing me dirty. I mean, we could potentially eat up this, uh, this shot right here. This Sulk here. But this is just ugly. Look at all the like the extras going on here. We got leftovers, leftovers. We got Salt Cure on both of my Pokemon. We have Leech Seed over there, and then we have a Sand Tomb. So every turn is a long one. But yeah, this match is. I think this one's wraps for us. We do get back a nice chunk of HP with Leech Seed, which is good. But I don't think we can set up a Leech Seed on Gargi. I don't believe we can. Purifying Salts. Oh my god, that did 42 damage. That's wild. But actually, we might be. This is a tough one. It's a tough one. So I'm going to bring out the Luxray. Luxray is out and about. Bring it out here. And I'm going to go for the Leech Seed on Gargonacle. I know it has Purified Souls, but I think that only blocks it from status conditions, right? Intimidate coming out here. 
Let's do it. We, we gotta go for the lead seed. It's our only hope. It's just a world change solve game, right? 100% it's our, it's our only it's our only benefactor here. So I'm actually gonna take some crazy damage <laughs> to uh, Tink Lu, but I'm just gonna go for the lead seed here. And sh 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 I wish I had protect at this point. And what do I go into you with? Do I snarl? I could. It is considered special attack. It might do more to Gargle and Apple. So we go for the snarl here. Just trying to do as much damage as we can. We're really not doing much. We got a special attack drop, but both these guys are physical. I'm trying my best out here. Leech Seed can go into Gargle and Apple, so that's not bad. We get back some HP. He's going to salt clear my Luxray up. We already know that. And he's going to sand tomb as well. <laughs> this is so bad. This is bad. You get a crit too. This is wild, but I'm going to put up a fight with my Wo Chen. Double Leech Seed? I can get down with that. This is a mess. This is a mess. Thank God it's not like Sandstorm where we take Buffets. Because it would just be more end of thing turn. Look, let's count it. Leftovers one. Leftovers is one. We're counting the end turn, uh, please. So leftovers one. Lead seed two. We got two on the board. Two after play things going on here. Two after plays. Another lead seed. That's three. That is three. This is wild. This is wild. Sand Tomb 4. <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> Sand Tomb 5. Oh my lord, this match is wild. We somehow win this. That's bananas. 6 for Soul Cure and 7 for another Soul Cure. It's an absolute mess. It's an absolute mess. I don't think I don't think we stand a chance here. I'm gonna pump up you, and I guess I'll double down into you. He's a protecting the Garvey. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. Let's get off some damage on this thing. Nice damage. Maybe I should pump off Luxray, but I think he just takes out Luxray here. We get the attack drop, which is pretty nice. Rocky helmet damage. Jeez, man. This is wild. Pump off flying here. Getting off some nice damage. This is wild. And he goes for the EQ. He goes for the EQ. He's going to take me out. My Wuchen's going to take some damage. I could just protect Wuchen here. Might be my best bet next turn. And just try to set up another lead seed, dude. If I can win this off lead seeds, it'd be the best victory ever. This is a long match. Hopefully, guys are enjoying. If you stayed this long, drop a like. Drop a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. I would definitely appreciate it. Especially if you're staying this long, you're obviously enjoying it. This is a long match. It's a long match. So, Wo Chen getting the lead seeds. We got, we got plenty of time. We got all day. The lead seed's going to bring us up pretty much to full, right? Lead seed's just so good. And plus, they're physical attackers, so that's really good for us. And then from here, I think we just ruin Nation down the Gargi, right? We let Lee Chi do its work onto, uh, onto the what's called, correct? Onto the Ting Lu. I think that's our best bet. And I don't think there's turns on Salk here, no. Bound it to, whew. Lee Chi's just keeping us afloat here. I could protect, I think I'm just going to protect here. I'm not taking damage from Ting Lu right now. He ends up withdrawing Gargi. Oh, that hurts. I might withdraw Ting Lu here too. Probably not. I mean, it's low HP. He ends up going to take Lemora. Lemora more comes out. He's looking to poison me here. He's, he's looking to poison me, yo. Chill. Chill on me. I think this is where it comes down. I think it's the end of the road here. I do think it's the end of the road. We have to leech seek Lemora. It's our only it's our only option, but the poison is just gonna run a stride, right? Now you're gonna throw a poison on me? Come on now. <laughs> Come on with that. So Wo Chen's gonna put up a good fight. They poison me to game set match, but maybe they end up missing the poison. You never know. Oh, we can't lead Seek anymore. It's grass type. Actually, no, it's a poison and rock. Never mind. They go for the moral spin. He's putting the poison on me. <laughs> it's game set match. We stand no chance. We might still have a citrus berry, do we? We might still have the citrus berry. We actually might have used it. I'm popping the seeds, baby. I'm popping the seeds. We just stand no chance here. It's just a mess. This is just a mess. This is just an absolute mess. Do we still have Citrus? I don't think we do. We'll slow play it. But the poison seems like it's a problem. <laughs> you know, if, I, if I somehow win this match, that's going to be insane. But I, I don't think we are. Poison's chunking up now. We got Poison, Salt Cure, we got Sand Tomb. Eventually it's just going to be, it's too much for us to handle, right? 
Oh my lord, the sand team should go away. Oh, we still have the berry. Hold up. Well, wait a minute. Berry helping us out this turn. Are we still tombed? We're not because we took him out. That's huge. Okay, so we get rid of the tomb. Now, is the mortal spin a bad poison? It might be a bad poison. Could do me wrong. Yeah, just leech seed you down. We gotta get off the leech seeds to play. Mortal spin comes out here again. He's looking to just do as much damage as he can to me. Lamar, oh, you free yourself with mortal spin? Oh, no. You free yourself with mortal spin? <laughs> Yo, come on. <laughs> and now he's just gonna recover. Yeah. Wrap it up. Um, Actually, do we wrap it up? Yeah, probably, right? I think it's a bad poison. I think Moral Spin's a bad poison, which means it does more damage per turn. I believe that is a thing. Let's see. We'll, we'll go one more turn. So I did about 20 damage last turn. Softgear's chipping me. This opponent really wants to win. I could, If I was him, I would have quit by now. But since I'm recording for you guys, I'm not going to quit. But he's probably going for a Moral Spin, so... I'm just going to go for a Ruination Nick Lamora. You go for a Venishock. That's going to KO me. Why couldn't you just do that like nine turns ago? Really wasting my time here. But hey, third and final match. Try to pull off that comeback for you guys. We couldn't. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the one and two record and the long video. Hopefully you guys give me an A plus for effort in that third and final battle. Very fun team that we got to use today. But we only went one and two with one victory and two losses. Both losses came down to the wire. And I feel like we got to showcase this team really well. We had the Luxray. We got the Gudra, Tankaton. A lot of fun using the off meta Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.